What's happening, my code enthusiast, technology, and geeks alike? And just a quick little video on something called eSpeak, which I was totally ignorant to. I did not know about this uh, this program. Uh, it was built into Linux, apparently. Okay, which lets you uh, lets the computer speak to you. So it basically takes a string, and it will say whatever you want. So if I do eSpeak, uh, for example, hello. Hello. Right. So you get the idea. We can do eSpeak. Um, keep coding. Keep. 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 Okay. What if we do this? Keep coding. Okay, I will. Right. So if we clear that. Here's the documentation for the, for the program. For you guys who did not know about this, I think it's quite interesting. It's giving me a few ideas for the tool that's coming up. Okay, which is going to be a barrage of videos. I'm just trying to think of the best way to uh, structure them so you guys can get the best out of it. I can learn as well, um, and it's more understandable. Okay, so let's just do a quick example of how we can use this in Python. So to call this, we can use the subprocess module. Okay, so we do a from subprocess import uh, check output. All right, and we do a speak equals check output. Then we call the program that we want. Now obviously this this program the voice isn't great. Um, you can change the voices, you can change the speed at which it talks as well. But I don't know. It's just give me a few ideas. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I may try and make my own, I'm not sure. Right, so if we do e speak and then we put the string of what we want, we can do a thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Okay. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you get you get what I'm saying. Um, obviously, it's speaking a bit fast. We can change that. We just go to the documentation. Okay. And this sort of thing is made by something I believe called phonemes or phonemes. I'll find it in a second. Um, somewhere here which is actually what the English language is made of. It's actually made of 85 um, like sounds, okay, which are put together to create words, right? Uh, it's quite a complex thing, apparently, to make. So I'm just going to have a little look into it and see, right? So if you saw my previous little uh, tidbits, my little, my little snippets, this is what's to come. What I actually did was I just created one one way file with a voice that I actually liked uh, using another program, okay, and I have loaded it using soundloader.load, and don't do that, no, don't do that, right? Okay, so you've heard this before in the previous tutorial, and I put the volume and I've just put sound.play, okay. Good evening, sir. And Welcome. It a bit, but it's all right. Okay, so we've got that, and I've got the if config running. I've got a movable widget, and I've just literally just coded. I've made another module called Thread Engine. Okay, which obviously, if you guys pause this video now, you can take code of. That's fine. I don't mind. All right, so I'm I'm actually trying to structure the, the program a little bit better. Okay, so if we actually scan the land now, uh, I think I've got like 200 threads um, scanning the hosts if my computer decides to wake up. And it should be done around about now ish, hopefully. 254 hosts, there we go, finish scan. Okay. 
So that's just a little um, quick video of what's to come. Uh, I thought it was quite interesting. Never heard of it. E speak. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe and hit thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya. Awesome.